The battle for who will lead France is heating up. On one side is incumbent Emmanuel Macron, on the other side is far-right leader Marine Le Pen. This Sunday, France will decide which of the two will lead the country. But before that, the two leaders will face off in a televised debate tomorrow. Both Macron and Marine Le Pen have different visions for France and will decode what each of them will mean for France's future. Currently, the biggest issues of the polls include France's economy, immigration policies, the country's security, and the war in Ukraine. The first issue in focus is the cost of living. Marine Le Pen has promised a hold of measures. She says she will scrap income tax for those under 30, raise wages, and reduce VAT on fuel. It is an issue that she has aggressively campaigned on. As for Macron, he says the government has already spent billions on this. The Macron government has capped energy bills and the president also wants to increase the wages of teachers. The second is pensions. Macron wants to raise the pension age from 62 to 65. But his policy has not worked with voters on the left. As for Marine Le Pen, she wants to keep pension age at 62. She also wants to raise the minimum state pension, but wants to keep it lower than what Macron intends. The other major issue in these elections is immigration and security. Le Pen wants a referendum on immigration. She plans for strict rules on who can enter France or become French. Marine Le Pen wants French nationals to be given housing and social services. Ahead of those who have been migrated to France, Macron, on the other hand, is focusing on security. He plans to free up the police from administrative tasks and double the number of police officials on the street by 2030. Currently, Marine Le Pen is trying to present a more moderate face to voters. Le Pen is somewhat pivoting from her usual topics of immigration and Islam. Her party is seen playing down the hijab ban proposal, saying it is not her priority in the fight against extremism. Earlier, Le Pen wanted to ban women from wearing the, ha the headscarf and find them for doing so or for not doing so. Emmanuel Macron has no plans for any such change, making his opposition to his rival's policy very clear. The other main issue in focus is the future of Europe. Emmanuel Macron has called this election a referendum on Europe. He says that Europe protects France from war and crisis. After Macron's exit from politics, Macron has played a decisive role in the bloc, leading the European Union while a war is raging at its doorstep. Le Pen, on the other hand, has come far from her original plan to leave the EU. However, many believe that that is her ultimate plan. Francis Macron has also cast himself as the last defense against the far right. As for the role of France in NATO and the war in Ukraine, Macron has played a decisive role in the crisis. He has led peace talks talked to both sides and called for diplomacy. This even worked in his favor initially during the opinion polls. People needed to see decisive leadership during the crisis, and Macron delivered just that. Meanwhile, Marine Le Pen called the party a protector of French values. But what got her in trouble was her close links to Vladimir Putin. With public opinion being overwhelmingly against Putin, she has since been seeking to distance herself from the Russian president. The last issue that has hardly been talked about is climate change. She wants France to stop using coal and gas, marking a shift to green energy. Macron has also pledged to build six new nuclear power stations Meanwhile, Marine Le Pen is not known for her green views. She even wants to end subsidies for renewable energy. Sunday's vote in France will determine the future of France. Will it be pro-European centrist President Emmanuel Macron or the far-right leader, anti-immigration candidate Marine Le Pen? Currently, Macron has consolidated his lead over Marine Le Pen as both leaders try to woo voters ahead of the runoff. We on will continue to... Track the French presidential elections, bringing you a comprehensive coverage of who will run the European Union's second largest economy for the next five years. Well, for more on this, Paris-based journalist Lisa Louis is joining us live. Lisa, good to see you and welcome to We On. What's the latest in the campaign front for both Emmanuel Macron and Le Pen? Well, both candidates are currently preparing for tomorrow's uh, TV debate, which uh, could be crucial for both of them. If you look back five years, you know, in the last presidential elections in 2017, it was also Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen in the second run of vote. 
And that debate at the time actually changed things quite a lot. Macron went up even higher in the polls and Marine Le Pen did so badly in that debate uh, that uh, her ratings uh, plummeted. And uh, so obviously every, all eyes will be on that TV debate tomorrow night here at Paris time. Macron and um, Marine Le Pen are currently hiding somewhere and uh, preparing that debate and trying to work out their strategy to, for tomorrow night. I think the biggest concern here for Marine Le Pen is her popularity. And, you know, she's counting on this TV debate for more votes. Is that the case? Well, absolutely. You know, she's been doing a, quite a good campaign, one must say. She's been campaigning through France for months and months, going from market to market, from town to town, telling people that she is the candidate close to the people. She's the candidate, as you said, of increased spending power. That's the number one priority for voters in this election here in France this year. And during the, you know, since the first round of voting, things have changed already quite a bit because beforehand, people weren't really looking at Marie Le Pen's program. But when you look at her program, it actually remains quite unchanged from what she thought beforehand in earlier elections. It's anti-immigrant. It would take away parts of human rights from those that don't have French nationality. Even binationals would be worse off under Marie Le Pen. And when it comes to our economic, economic program, uh, that would infringe on uh, against the EU rules and would lead, according to economists, uh, to a Frexit, even if Marie Le Pen doesn't say so. So since the first round of voting about 10 days ago, the media have concentrated on her program, have looked at it, have analyzed it in detail, and that has changed things quite a lot. So Marie Le Pen's target for tomorrow morning, her objective, her goal will be to still depict herself as the one who is close to the people and then depict Emir Macron as someone who is too far away, He's a lofty leader who's been dealing with international conflicts instead of concentrating on people's everyday worries. Well, there has been, there has been concern for both Macron and uh, Le Pen when it comes to the support of the 7.7 .7 million votes for Jean-Luc Mélenchon. But uh, Jean-Luc is seemingly quiet. Why is it? Is he waiting for this TV debate, perhaps? So Jean-Luc Mélenchon, the far left leader, he came third in the first round of voting with about 22% of the vote. And, you know, he's been louder than last time around, where he also came, uh, you know, was one of the main contenders in the first round of voting. And, uh, you know, last time around, he didn't say anything. This time around, he said, you should not give any vote to Marie Le Pen. Obviously, Macron was hoping for more, but Jean-Luc Mélenchon said, I'm going to wait what my supporters will vote for. He held an internal poll, and the outcome of that was that most of his supporters said that they shouldn't vote at all in the second round of voting. Now, when you look at the analysis done by pollsters here in France, you can see that about a third of Mélenchon's electorate would vote for Marie Le Pen, a third would wait for Macron, and then a third is still undecided or was still undecided a few days ago. And obviously, both candidates, Macron and Le Pen, will focus their intention, attention on those people trying to convince them. Marine Le Pen will try to tell them, you know, I'm closer to, you know, workers' worries. And Emmanuel Macron has already started to tone down his program. He has said that he would carry out more liberal market oriented reforms in the five years to come if he were re-elected. For example, he would push up the pension age, which is currently at 62 to 65. And he said, we can talk about maybe it will only be 64 and maybe we will hold a referendum on that question. So yes, both people, both candidates are focusing on the electorate of Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Live from Paris, I've been talking to journalist Lisa Louis, thank you very much for making time and for talking to We On today. Thank you. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.